Hello. Hello, welcome to Lord Havoc's Marvel Champions custom content stream extravaganza. You all know the drill by now. Uh, continuing my look at the content that's currently up for nomination uh, for the seal of approval by the Discord team. Uh, for this one, <laughs> I'm very excited to uh, be doing Parker Man, otherwise known as Wreck Rap. Uh, he's a character that showed up in a fairly recent Spidey story where Ben Riley goes mad and becomes evil. and It's not a very good story, as most modern comic stories are, but uh, this is a sort of a standout character. I knew nothing about them when I saw them on the nomination. I, I actually, funnily enough, I thought it was a He-Man villain or a He-Man character. <laughs> this is a big He-Man mod uh, on the, in the community. So, you, you nothing about him. Did some research, and uh, yeah, pretty excited. So it's, it's so it's a little demon. Uh, he looks strangely like Caliban, who. Uh, Spidey saves and so decides to that Spidey is now the greatest hero ever and decides to sort of change his ways and uh, become a hero and gets bonded with a symbiote so Parker Man the alter ego uh, Parker Man cannot change forms unless Wreck Rap symbiote is in play so that's interesting so I'm basically stuck in this form until I get the symbiote out but, funnily enough, as an action, I can exhaust Parker Man and choose to either find the symbiote and add it to my hand, or I can draw three cards and discard a card at random. So I can just try and try and draw it, or I can just go and find it. If I've got it, I can just use the the three cards thing. Uh, that's interesting, but you're pretty standard. You know, I, I know what you're thinking. Yeah. Okay. But then check this out. The Wreck Rap hero side. He looks badass. <laughs> he just looks like a champion. It's uh, McGinnis artwork, I'm pretty sure. 1-1-1. One, 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 pretty bad stat lines. Demon Symbiote. Wreck Rap readies instead of exhausting to use their basic powers. So I just want to think about that. So I don't do this and then attack. I have to be already like this and do this to attack. It's the complete opposite of everything you do. Now that's potentially game breaking. There's certain, obviously it's, uh, the standard version of this game is you need to exhaust to do stuff. And so there's going to be a whole bunch of cards, treachery cards I mean, that say exhaust your hero. Right? So the most obvious one that comes to mind is obligations, right? You need to exhaust in order to discard the obligation or whatever the case may be and there's various other treacheries that do things like that right exhaust your hero um but that's the complete opposite of how it's meant to work for this dude uh so it's it's i'm intrigued i'm absolutely intrigued on how this works it's unique web wanning <laughs> so when he's web swinging he calls web swinging web wanning Response, when the phase ends, exhaust rec wrap. So you don't ready, you exhaust. Discard a random care for your hand. So he's not the smartest tool in the shed. Interestingly enough, his alter ego, his hand size is four. Uh, he gets smarter when he gets his symbiote. Head size becomes six. Uh, a unique hero. Uh, I'd point out that it is by Man 3, so Record Frog Man 3. So I'm very excited for this. Now, as is traditional, I have not looked at the cards that comes in the deck, uh, the identity cards. I think that might be a mistake <laughs> in this case. I really do, because I get the feel, I mean, I get the feeling it's going to be quite complicated for my little brain. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'm also using the pre-con. Uh, that does actually come when you grab it from his um, TTS blood because of a pre card. Uh, I did change out a couple of the cards, um, it is spec for leadership technically. 
um, is leadership and didn't have Maria Hill, which I just think is, is blasphemy. It's blasphemy. Any leadership deck that doesn't have Maria Hill in it, I just I can't accept it. Uh, so I did swap out one of the R&Ds for Maria Hill and I swapped out a couple of the other cards. Oh, it has the Symbia card in there as well, which I just never use. I mean, I've got it in my Spidey deck and I just I never use it. It's kind of bothered. So yeah, um, so that may be a mistake as well, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same. Uh, and as is tradition, I'm playing a custom hero, so I'll go up against a standard villain. Um, I did randomize it, um, but I got a collector, and I was like, screw that. <laughs> so I just randomized again and got claw, so I'm fine with that. Um, so yeah, let's rock it. Uh, claw, stage one, put defense network out there, sweet. Discard cards from the hand deck until the minion is discarded. No worries. Uh, shuffle, so there's no cheating. Oh, the other thing to note is that there is no Nemesis set. So there is an obligation card, which is in there, uh, but there's no Nemesis set, so I'm just going to use Spidey's Nemesis set. Um, seems pretty close. I just need to point out that that is an automatic failing grade for the seal. Um, you won't be sealed unless you have a complete set, and that includes a Nemesis set. Um, so that's a shame, but we'll see how it goes in terms of all the other stuff. I mean, it wouldn't be hard to just whip one up. All right, uh, discard until we get a minion. Nope. Nope. There's the obligation card. Let's check out the obligation card while it comes out. Fight another day. Aw, oh, poor Parker man. Flip to alter ego form. He cannot flip to hero form. Exhaust Parker man. Do yourself one face down encounter card. Remove fight another day from the game. Give the villain a face down boost card. Discard this obligation. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, but still not a minion. Another minion. Oof. There we go. Yeah, melter. Cool. Alright, six cards. Let's see how we go. Um, I'm very intrigued by this pre-con. It's got some cards in here that I would never, ever, ever play. Um, so, I'm intrigued to see how it goes. So, remember, I start on Parker Man. Oh, it's only four cards. One, two, three, four. I don't get these two cards. Automatically stuffed it up. Alright, so I start on four. So I didn't get, I've got wall crawling time. Attack, deal damage to an enemy equal to the total of your hero's thought attack and defense phase. This attack gains overkill. That should be full stop. Your hero's thought attack and defense phase, full stop. This attack gains overkill. Arrow, exhaust wreck wrap. Um, three, to do three. Okay, licking for clues. <laughs> awesome. Skill thwart, hero action thwart, remove threat equal to the total of Rockcraft thwart, attack and defense. Again, three for three from the scheme with the most threat. Exhaust Rockcraft. The trail is warm and tasty. So you don't get to shoot, it's just the one with the most threat on it. Hmm. Alright, uh, I assume if there's two that has the same amount of threat you get to choose. Civic Duty, here's one of the cards that I would never play. Tactic, discard Civic Duty, your hero gets plus one thought until the end of the phase. Uh, and then Strength. I'm not going to mulligan because I don't know what to mulligan for. So uh, I will use his action to grab me my Symbiote. And thank you, you get a bonus point, Man 3, for naming your cards. It's, it's an absolute must. So, Rec Rack Symbiote, upgrade. Mystic Symbiote. Force Interrupt, when this card leaves play, flip to Alter Ego form. Your response after you're ready, Rec Rack, give Rec Rack plus 2 a thwart, plus 2 attack, or plus 2 defense until the end of the round. Max once per basic power. Okay. <laughs> I love his little thingy. I love his little cardy thingy. 
And I assume it's got the mystic trait because it was mystically bonded to him. That's a pretty nice touch. I like that. Um, yeah, so it's not overwhelming as a card on its own. I mean, plus two is pretty sweet. Uh, but I can't change forms without it, so... Okay, so first off, this needs to be... Is the intention that I can do the other one now? Because I can do as many actions as I want. So... This really needs a once per turn, uh, once per phase, once per round type thing on it. Or is the intention that I can just keep doing it? I mean, at the moment, it's infinite. I can just keep doing actions because there's no cost to it. Um... Oh, no there isn't. Ignore me. Oh, ignore everything I just said. What an idiot. You have to exhaust to do it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Exhaust Parker Man. Choose. Sorry, my mistake. Ignore everything I just said then, just then. Alright, so I use the symbiote option. Um, Melter is in play. Hmm. I'm going to use Civic Duty to pay for the Symbiote. And flip. This is a great choice of artwork. At first glance, it's just he's just swimming through the unit, the the city, right? But because these things all about, it's all about exhausting up. So at the moment, he actually looks ready. It's just it's a subtle but yet cool thing. Just psychologically, it's subtle. I quite like it, but that means I actually get to use stuff, right? The only negative I'd say with that is I would move the picture four down a bit or cross to the right, either, either way you want to look at it. There's just a lot of space here that is, really doesn't mean anything. Whereas we're actually missing out some of the dude. I just moved the art just slightly across to, so that his arm's about here, say. But I do, but I love this. I don't know if that was intentional, Man 3, um, if you're watching, but uh, that is great. That is really, really cool. Alright, so the symbiote's out. Um, which means I now can strength and licking for clues <laughs> to do wall crawling time and oh wait no 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 let's try that again sorry this is going to happen a couple of times I apologise I'm just going to get used to it so he's exhausted He's exhausted, right? Wait, I'm confused. Recrap readies instead of exhausting to use their basic power. After you ready, give him plus two plus. Two. Okay, alright, so I think, hopefully I'm doing this right. I really apologise if I'm not doing this right, but I think this is what's meant to happen here. I'm going to... I'm going to thwart for one. Alright, I've thwarted for one. Now that I've readied, I get plus two thwart, plus two attack, or plus two defense, right? I'm going to give him plus two attack. Right, he now has plus two attack. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab these bad boys. Let's 
grab these. So he currently has plus two attack. All right. So now if I strength and looking for clues, I'm going to wall crawling time. Attack. Deal damage to an enemy equal to the total of your hero's thought attack and defense phase. This attack gains overkill. Exhaust wreck wrap. So I'm doing one, two, three, four, five to Melter. He dies. I then exhaust. I'm now available to do something else. Actually, you know what? I should have bloody done 2 plus 2. Th what? Okay, I get it now. I get it. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. You've got to think ahead. Yeah, you've got to... Th yeah, you've really got to think ahead. I'm really enjoying this. This is cool. Um, so I'm now exhausted. So I can now technically hit again. It's like an, a, a built-in ready function on the on his card. So I can now attack for three. Right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And this is this is max until the end of the round. So I've still got it now. So I should have done either thwart and then thwarted or defense so I can defend. Oh, this is great. I'm enjoying this. Um, all right, so now I ready. And to ready is actually to exhaust. So I'm now ready. Yeah, so that was my mistake. I should have done defense there because I still would have done the damage. I'm just learning. I'm just learning. I'm going to change this. I'm just learning people. I'm going to change this to defense. And it still would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 damage. So I haven't changed anything there. Alright. Was I meant to do anything to this? No. This doesn't exhaust or anything. Okay. Alright. Okay. So I'm now technically ready. Yeah, this is... This is a lot of brain needed, but... I'm enjoying it. Uh, he attacks. Oh, I'm so used to Spidey. I'm so used to getting a free card. Oh, wait. I should already have cards. So I should have six cards. Wait. Wait. When the phase ends. Wait. I should have done something. When the phase ends. The phase ends. Exhaust wreck wrap. Discard a random card from your hand. I didn't have any cards. Why am I exhausting? What? Why would I exhaust? Oh, that's that's ruined it for me. When the phase ends, so is that before the ready part? End of player phase. To end the player phase, perform the following. Player order. I discard cards. Didn't want to do that. I've already added cards. Each player simultaneously draw cards. Everybody simultaneously draws cards. So I get six cards. And then I ready. So I would ready. I'm now ready. But his ability says that I now have to exhaust, which for him is to ready. Why 
Wow, I'm so confused. Each player simultaneously readies all of their cards. I'm now ready. Oh, wait. I think I get it. I think I get it. I'm getting... I think I'm reading too much into this bit. Readies instead of exhausting to use their basic powers. That's all it says, right? I just... I do the opposite to use their basic powers. But all the other game terminology is still the same. Right? He hasn't changed the terminology of the game. Otherwise, that would just be a massive screw. Right? Like, that would just screw with your head really bad. Because of all the cards that say to do certain things, right? So... Basically what he's saying, so what he's saying is, is, so at the end of the phase, I'm absolutely positive this is what he means. The end of the phase sequence is that you could discard cards if you want, then you draw your cards, then you ready. He hasn't messed with that. I still ready. And what web waning does is, is I'm swinging into action. I now exhaust, which would normally be ready, and I discard a card. The, the card and card bit I don't quite get. Is it just because he's dumb? I'm like uh, I don't quite get that. But now I just got a card, and now I have a card that I can discard because I've got six cards, which makes sense for the six cards. I'm absolutely positive that's what that means. So I should always end exhausted because I'm now really re I'm now kind of ready. I need to ready to use my abilities, and that we, you always end your player phase ready to use your ability right so i'm sure that's what it means so he hasn't changed the terminology he's just changed it for the basic power so i go back to my previous statement the original statement i made which uh this is brilliant love it absolutely love it um i don't like the losing a card but i don't like any effect that says discard a card but i've got six so he's made up for it i can't believe this is their first ever hero i'm absolutely positive that um, somebody said this was their first hero. I'm absolutely positive. Oh, it's Kajislav. My good friend Kajislav. Yeah, this is his very first ever character hero that he's made. Very cool. Very cool. Alright, I've just got a card. That sucks. I get to choose though, so that's not too hard. Push ahead. See the whole exhaust your hero business? Yeah. I'm going to get rid of Daily Bugle because I don't quite understand what it does. I'll be honest. It's when you just got a random card. Does this say random? Oh, it does say random. Aha. Okay. I have to randomly discard a card. And Daily Beagle protects me from that. Put that card on the top of your deck instead. Aha. It's waning time. <laughs> Oh, no, no, that can't be true. That can't be what he says. I have the strength of a man-sized spider, and guess what? That's like 13 tuners. What an absolute freak. It's waning time. Love it. And this is magnificent. Check this out. I like the interaction with the card, where he's grabbing the card. That's amazing. Um... Well, it has to be just random. Oh, I hope it's not Daily Beagle now. Now that I know what it does. And it is... Pass ahead. Push ahead. I'm cool with that. I didn't really understand what it meant, to be honest. So, I'm fine with that. It's now the villain turn. Threat. Oh, wait. I've already done that. I was, too, I was still confused of all this business. Alright, villain turn. Threat. He already did that. Now, he's attacking. Uh, he gets a boost card. I will 
defend. I don't have any defensive cards. Oh yes I do. When you would take damage from an attack, deal that damage to the attacking enemy instead. Exhaust wreck wrap. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm already exhausted, so the exhaust part doesn't mean anything. But it means I don't get to take any damage. But when you would take damage, I'd deal that damage to the attacker. So I still take the damage. I would still take the damage, but I would get to do damage back. Oh, I see. So this card, right. If I didn't have this card, it would have been better if I'd actually had kept it as the attack instead of saying it was defense, because then I would have hit him back for three. Right. Right. Okay, well, I'm not going to use that card. I'm actually I'm going to defend, which is what I was going to do. Um, so I'll stick with what I was going to do. So I'm defending for three. He's attacking for... Oh, he's meant to get two boost cards. I forgot about that. Um, do one damage to each hero. And put weapons right into play. He doesn't surge, but there's another thing. Then we get any counter card, and then it is sound manipulation. When revealed hero, take two damage, claw heals two. That sucks. Take two damage. Oh, can I use this? I could this is when I could do this. Oh well, I'd still take the two. It's not really worth it just to do one point back. It's not worth it. Okay, my turn. Uh, genius will give me Ooh, wait a minute wait a minute go all out exhaust your hero Deal damage to an enemy equal to the total of your hero's thwart attack and defense values. I need a mental an energy. Oh, it's mental. I need an energy to do it. Well, all right. So, genius will give me Maria. That gives me a free card. And there's my energy, general and rush. All right. When do I get to change this? After you ready. Oh. After you ready. After you ready. When did I ready? I ready when I defended. Yeah, I ready when I defend it. So that's not a hero response because it's the villain's turn, right? So now I have to do it in this turn. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. So much thinking. Um, I need... Adrenaline rush and it's winning time. <laughs> and it'll never not be funny. He's going to go all out. Exhaust your hero. Do damage to an enemy equal to the total of your hero's thwart attack and defense, which is five. So claw cops it. One, two, three, four, five. I'm now ready. Oh, Maria's just going to thwart for two. Um, sorry, let's just get that out of the way. I'm now ready. Wait, 
I'm very confused. <laughs> okay, so it's just, it's just he hasn't changed the terminology. Just going to keep that in the back of my head. The terminology has not changed. So this says to exhaust. I'm now exhausted, but really I'm ready. After you ready, I haven't actually readied. The timing of this is throwing me off. Why would I care that I get plus two to stuff if I've already used it? Because if I'm using this now, I'm only hitting him for one. And I don't get to change it until I ready. And then if I ready, I can't do it again. So should I have waited to do this? But I couldn't because I was already exhausted. Mm. I think I'm doing this wrong. So I'm going to hit thwart for one. Which means I can now change this if I want. But do I want to? I don't think I want to. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm now exhausted because I used a basic power. He readies instead of exhaustion, he's face power. Yeah. And the terminology has not changed. So after you ready, which is what I just did, Rick Rack is plus. Right. So I could change it if I wanted to. But then why would I want to? I don't have anything that says that I can do anything. So I'm just going to stay in defense mode, I guess. Stay with the plus two defense. Um, this is hurting my brain. Which means this asshole stays alive. That offends me. Although I could just leave that and say I did a point of damage to this guy. Yeah, I think I'll do that instead. Okay. End of turn. End of turn. I get the cards first. Let's do it in the proper sequence. I get the cards first. Five. Five cards. He then readies. What? Yeah, when the when the phase ends, so she readies. When the phase ends, I now exhaust him. And I discard a card. Morale boost. There's five cards back. Rick wraps disguise. <laughs> Rick wrap gets plus one thought and ignores the patrol keyword. When the villain would attack you, the villain schemes instead. When Rick wrap attacks, discard this card. <laughs> I like it. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. Clarity of purpose. Uh, exhaust his card. He'll run into a chart to generate a wild resource. Morale boost. Choose a hero. Blah, blah, blah. Daily bugle. And good old war crawling time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Villain turn. Boink. Uh, he attacks, gets two boost cards, and I'm gonna defend. Three. He attacks for one. So nothing happens. This guy then attacks and does one. 
I get an encounter card? It's got an upgrade or support your control. Oh, what? It doesn't have the permanent keyword. Oh. When this card leaves play, flip to alter ego. Okay, my turn. I'm now Parker Man. So I've lost this. Okay. Cannot change forms unless rep wrap symbiote is in play. Okay. Alright, well I'm gonna exhaust and grab the symbiote. Back to my hand. I'm gonna use morale boost. Put the symbiote back into play. Means I can flip and I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Um, Recraft disguise, clarity of purpose, and walker and climb will put daily bugle in play. I just I get the feeling I should have that out. I just something just is just screaming at me to get this out now. Okay, so I've done that. Maria's going to thwart for two. He's going to attack. I was going to use the the web swinging, the wall crawling time with like the overkill and stuff. But it costs three. It's just horrendous. I just something tells me I should have this out. That it's important. So yeah. So he's just going to hit him for one and take him out, which is just. Um, and now that he's done that I get to choose this after you're ready give her a grab plus two plus two plus two so what do I want I have no cards left now I, I guess I want defense again I don't see any reason why I would never want defense unless I had like a minion to get rid of or something. So, alright, I'm going to give him plus two defense till the end of the round. It's now the end of the round. I get my cards first. Six cards. I then, when the phase ends, exhaust wreck wrap. Exhaust. Discard a random card. Oh no, not Peter. Spider-Man Peter Parker is in play, discard this card. When this villain attacks you, discard this card. Find a copy of Spider-Man Peter Parker ally and put him into play. Oh, what a bummer. What a real shame. Oh wait, he goes back onto the top of my deck because of Daily Bugle. When you would discard her own company and put that card on top of your deck instead. Yes! I knew it! I knew it was important. What's this? Well known Spidey Stranger. Well known Spidey Stranger. Superpower. When an enemy initiates. Like, <laughs> I like the quotes. When an enemy initiates an attack against you or you reveal a treachery, discard this card instead. 
Exhaust Ripwrap. That's pretty cool. When an enemy in a set it is an upgrade though. And I can't forget about my well known Spidey Stranger. <laughs> I don't usually go for wacky characters, I gotta tell you, like I can't stand Deadpool and Gwen Paul and Squirrel Girl and all that sort of stuff. It just they just don't do it for me. But uh this is this is doing it for me. I'm enjoying this dude a lot. Uh threat, he attacks, two boosts, I will defend. After I ready, I can choose. So I could change it. Okay. Ah, I think I'm getting it again. I'm sorry, man. Three. If, it's, if you just if you're watching this and just sort of shaking your head, going, "What the hell, dude?" I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm just. I can be a bit dumb. So I think the intention here is, is now that I've used it right, I've already declared that I'm defending. I'm at three. And it says, as a response, which happens last, interrupts happen before responses, so response happens last, I can change it, because after you're ready, I can ch I can now change it. It's max once per basic power. I did fence. I can now change it to attack, so that then when it goes back to my turn, I can then attack him. I'm absolutely positive that's the intention. I really hope that's the intention. Um... One, so he hits for one, he does nothing. But that second one doesn't mean anything, don't care. I've now defended, it's now as a response. I can change this to plus two attack. I'm sure this is how it works. Right. I'm so exhausted though, which is a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Okay, and then the counter card is radioactive man. All right. Okay, it's now my turn. I am exhausted. You know, I'm ready, but I'm exhausted. You know what I mean? So, Okay, I'm gonna. It's waning time and first aid are going to go all out. And I need. One of those needs to be an energy. Oh, no. One of them needs to be an energy. I was reading this one. This one can do it instead. Um, yeah, waning time and push ahead. I'll keep first aid. Can pay for go all out. Exhaust your hero. Deal damage to an enemy equal to the total of your hero's things, which is five. He takes five. But now I'm, you know, ready. I'm doing air quotes, but now I'm effectively ready, right? And so now I'll just hit him for three. And he's dead. The action economy on this guy is off the charts. Um, I now can't afford well-known Spider Stranger, which is a real shame. That's fine. If this specifically says exhaust Parker Man, I would actually change that to an alter ego action. Otherwise, I just it keeps confusing me every time I look at it. I mean, it's specifically saying Parker Man anyway, right? So, um, although I, I guess that includes it because it specifically says Parker Man, you don't need to make it an alter ego action, but it would just help me for my brain. Um, 
Yeah, which is a shame I can't afford this. I could heal too, but... I don't want to get rid of this. This is too good. I don't want to get rid of this. So I'm just going to keep this hand. Can't do anything else. So... I get four cards. Then I... Oh! Because uh, I, I readied. I can change, so I readied. I hit him for three, and now I, as a response, I can change it back to plus two defense. Yeah, yeah. I'm absolutely sure this is how it's meant to work, and if I'm right, then it's genius. If I'm right, it is absolutely magnificent. Oh, there's my spidey ally. Web Warrior. After Spider-Man enters play, give Rick Rap plus one thought, plus one attack, plus one defense to the end of the turn. At the end of the round, exhaust Rick Rap. Just punch them, okay. That's cool artwork. That's cool McGinnis artwork. That's not McGinnis art, I think. Um, three, two, two, three. Mm, that should probably be four. Two, two, three, and then an ability that lets me do stuff. I think he's undercosted. I think that should be a four. But anyway, I oh, want another first aid. Alright, so it's now the end of the round. When the phase begins, exhaust wreck wrap. Discard a card. So exhaust, discard a random card. Please don't be spidey. Oh, shattered. Shattered. Oh, what a shame. Oh, it's random, so I get back the card. Oh, thank God I put Daily Bugle into play. Oh, yes. All right. One. He attacks. Defending for three. Because I readied, I'm now going to change it. I'm still defending for three. Well, I'll wait. I'll do the attack first, just so there's no confusion. Ooh, he actually hits for three, but that's all right. Turn it for three, so I don't care. And then because I readied, I'm going to change it back to attack. In fact, he's over here. Okay, and then the cannon card is... Masters of Evil. There is no minion, so I need to search for one. Actually, I'll grab Whirlwind. Actually, no, I'll grab Melter. Because he's the weakest. Um, my turn. So... And I love the thematic that I, I want to do stuff. <laughs> this costs a lot though, wall crawling climb. One, two, Three to pay for wall crawling time. Uh, deal damage equal to total blah blah blah, which is five, so he's dead. And then exhaust wreck wrap, which means I'll then attack for three. One, two, three. So ready, I can now change it back to defense again. The economy is just amazing. Now I get my cards. So I get five. Got this back. Oh, so good. Why is there a power leadership in here? Ah, oh, to pay for the three cost blue ones. 
Civic duty. Discards civic duty here. He gets plus one thought. Ah, don't care about that. Adrenaline rush. Discards civic duty here. He gets plus one attack. Okay. Ah, oh, alright. Now it's the end of the turn, so now he. Exhaust. Discard a card at random from your heart. Um, I just remember there's actually a discard a random card functionality in this deck, so I'm just going to use that. So, boink, there you go, goes back on the top of my deck. Cool, I forgot about that. Uh, threat, he attacks, I defend. He's doing two plus give the villain a tough status card. That's a shame. That's a shame. Um, I successfully defended. I'm going to change it to attack. Actually, should I do some porting? He's on three. Um, nah. Uh, and then encounter card is Claw's Vengeance. Claw attacks you. If this attack deals damage, place one through on the main scheme. Um, I can't defend because I'm exhausted. So it looks like I'm just taking it. I have my defense stuff. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to cop it sweet. Nothing. And put it into play. Cool. So no damage. My turn. Uh... Power leadership and civic duty. will give me well-known spider stranger and I can't do anything that's that's a shame okay end of the round get four exhaust and then wait when I ready before I should have just stayed as defense but I didn't though. I did specifically say I'm changing it to attack, so it looks like I'm stuck with this. Yeah, it's stuck with this, so I'm not going to cheat. That is what it is. Um, so now I generate a random card, goes on top of my deck. Webwang, superpower. After record readies, add a web counter here to a maximum of three. Exhaust this card, I remove all web counters from here, generate that many wild resources. Threat, he attacks. Um, I can defend for one, but is there any real point? So he hits for two, plus if it deals damage to you, exhaust your hero. Well, I am exhausted. Thanks. Um, so I take the two, and then this guy's going to hit me for one. Get an encounter card. Claw attacks you. It deals damage, but deal put mage. Oh, the other one deal didn't deal damage. So he attacks me. Can't do anything about it. Oh, dead. Oh no, 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 no. When an enemy initiates an attack against you, or, can re or you reveal a treachery, discard this card instead and exhaust Rogue But he's already exhausted. So that's fine. Okay, so I cancel this attack. Does that mean these boost cards didn't have them? Yeah, initiated, he didn't get his boost cards. I'm going to put those back in there. Um, forgot about that. So we'll just say I stopped the encounter card. There you go. Boom. The treachery card. My turn. Um...
Glitch. Hmm. Let's kill... Let's kill this dude. Hmm, actually... I need to knock this tough off. No, nah, let's just kill this guy. Um, and then because I read it, I'm going to change. What am I changing to? No, I should have said I put this in play first and then attacked that guy so that I can get a counter. Okay, so they killed him. Then I don't want to change. Yeah, I want to. Well, not really because I want to flip and heal like I'm. I'm dying here. I think I need to heal. Although I could... Oh, I could immediately use this to put Peter into play. He has to attack me to do it. I want to stay. What do I want to flip? He will scheme to the next section. Does that really matter? Yeah, I'm going to flip. When this card leaves play, flip to alter ego form. Oh, I just flipped alter ego. Doesn't force that to play. Right. So it's still in play. So I might as well do the draw three cards option. No, I want to. Oh. This is not on this side. So that means this just works normally. It needs to be on this side for it to take effect. Rick rack, wreck wrap readies, yeah. So this guy just does normally. So he can just wreck. Oh, jeez, this is just this is mind numbing, but so exciting. This it's it's too complicated for my brain, but it's so well done. Like it's just so well done. It just the way that it just it interacts with itself. Just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, this is a hundred percent getting a nomination for me. Hundred percent. Okay, assuming I'm playing it right. <laughs> if I'm not, then. The only, the only, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm playing it right. The only thing I'm, I'm slightly off about maybe the thing because every time I'm ready, I've changed it, even after I've used it. Business. It's this is the okay. This confuses me. Max once per basic power. Is a thing that's confusing me, and I don't think I've violated that because I changed from a defense to attack and an attack to a defense. I mean, it's not. I don't think that violates that rule. I mean, it makes sense as far as I can tell. I, I'm. I'm fairly sure I'm playing it right, um, and if I am, it's just, this is just blowing me away, just how creative this is. Um, all right, so I wrecked. And now I have to stay this way, I can't change back, I can't use his ability. I think that's 
Yeah. Right? So this guy now readies as normal. Because he was exhausted. Now he just readies. Okay. Well, I should have gotten my cards first. So he gets four cards. He readies. He doesn't have to do the discard business, so I get to keep all these. Spider Brain Tingle. When the villain attacks you, exhaust Rec Wrap, discard a round and can card from your hand. What? When the villain attacks you, exhaust Rec Wrap. Discard a random card from your hand. Why would you want to do that ever? Oh, so that he then becomes ready per se. He exhausts and therefore he becomes ready. Oh man. It's amazing. Alright, uh one and then he schemes for two plus two, so four, and that means I trigger blank. Uh blank. Actually that should be on nine. When reveal discard cards from the encounter deck until the minion is discarded, put that minion into play. There's only three cards. No. 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 That's it. No minion is discarded. So we don't get a minion. But we do get an acceleration ticket. Okay. Back to zero. Stage is completed. Players lose the game. Secret rendezvous. Where's the immortal claw thing? Oh, that's only when I go to stage two. Yeah. Okay. Um, counter card is get up. Card gain surge. Next one is wind runner. Weapon runner. This time it does surge. So this one surges into legal arms factory. When reveal, place an additional threat here. So that's four. Okay, my turn. Do I want to wreck again? The score, draw three cards and discard one at random. And discard card at random. Okay, go to the back of, on the top of my deck. Thanks to Daily Bugle. Oh, might as well use. Oh, I have to exhaust him to do it. All right, that's fine. Uh, so now I'll flip, and I'm ready. <laughs> it's just amazing. Um. Oh. When he readied before, exhausted and then readied, I should have something here. Because he was. He was exhausted when he wrecked. So he was, par he was Parker Man. Exhausted to wreck, then he readied. And this says after you. Oh, after you ready, wreck wrap. No, no, so that didn't happen. So he's currently exhausted. He doesn't have his bonus plus two. That's alright. After Rec Rec Readies, he hasn't done that, so he doesn't get any web tokens. Alright, so these are still in play as is. Okay, what have I got in my hand? Mockingbird, Ironheart, look, Licking for Clues. Remove threat equal to total Rec Rec thwart. Okay. I'm going to thwart for one. Then I'm going to looking for clues. Mockingbird. Oh, and I'm ready. So I get a thing on there. And I get to add to this. Oh, I don't want that. I want attack. Okay. Mockingbird. Spider brain tingle and morale boost is going to pay for licking for clues. Mood threat equal to the total of Red Crap's thwart attack and defense values. 
from the scheme with the most threat. So it's currently five. One, two, three. Get rid of this. And then I exhaust Rekra. I'm now ready again. I'm going to going to web thing and go all out to Ironheart who draws me a card which I know is energy which is no good to me but oh well um, Ironheart's going to pin off the tough from this guy and then Recrap's going to hit him for four for three one two three advance the stage Mortal Claw comes out. Did it come out of here? That's pretty clever. Um, it automatically puts me up to 28. That's very clever. I like that. Alright. Um, it gives it 3 already. Plus 10. Alright. Sweet. Okay. I'm ready again, so I now can change it if I want. And I will. And I get. Wait, does this say max one per turn? No, maximum of three. Okay. So I get another thing on there. I've changed it to plus defense. Ironheart exhausted. I've got an energy I can't use. It's, I think I'm. Um, I think I'm good. I get my cards, so I get five cards. I can get one from there. And then I get another four from here. Okay, one, two, three, four, four. Okay. Um, okay, and now I exhaust and I discard a card at random. Why did it go over there? How weird. Um, anyway, they go back to the top of my deck because of Daily Bugle. That's it. That's the end of my turn. Threat. 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 That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. He attacks me. I will Hmm. Hmm. Peter doesn't say when the villain attacks you and deals damage. It just says when the villain attacks you. As an interrupt, when the villain attacks you, discard the card, find Spidey, put him into play. Well, he's attacked me. When the villain attacks you. So I'm going to grab Spidey as an interrupt. Put him into play. Yeah, you know, am I defending with Wreck Rap, or am I defending with Spidey, or am I defending with Ironheart? I think it'll be Wreck Rap or defend. He does one plus put into play plus one so he hits for two I successfully defend I've readied I'm now going to change this 
to attack. And because I'm ready, I get a web counter. No, I don't. Yes, I do. It's just a response. So I got a web wang. I got a web wang counter. Oh, man. It's so good. After you enter play until the end of the round. Oh, okay. So that should have gone the other way around. I should have defended and then Spidey comes in enters play gives me my pluses and then exhausts me so I'm now ready again person says technically right so it should have been he attacks I declare defend he attacked me so therefore I get Spidey resolve the attack okay I'm exhausted again and I have Spidey to play with. Okay, all right. So he's done his attack. These guys now attack. Um, it's going to take it. Take the two. Get an encounter card. Attach to claw. Gains retaliate. That's unfortunate. All right, my turn. First things first. Spidey's going to thwart for two. Ironheart's going to thwart for one. That goes. He goes down to 18. So it's till the end of the round. So when he came in with the villain phase. So is the end of the round always the end of the villain phase? Or is it always after the two phases? A full round. end the round yeah right okay so he doesn't have his pluses from spider-man anymore okay okay I just he's down to 18 Exhaustion hero, remove threat from a scheme equal to the total of your heroes. Deal damage. Okay, alright. Civic duty and energy is going to pay for. No. I'm going to attack for. Th I'm going to attack for three. One, two, three. Retaliate one. I get a web counter. Maximum of three. Um, then those two are going to pay for push ahead. Exhaust your hero. Remove threat from a scheme equal to the total of heroes thwart attack and defense. Then I'm going to hit again for three. One, two, three. Then I'm going to spend these three to 
play wall crawling time. Do a damage when equal damage equal to his thwart attack and defense, which is five. This attack gains overkill. Exhaust wreck wrap. I'm gonna kill this guy and do the excess three to him. That doesn't trigger over um, retaliate. Because I didn't attack him, I attacked him. He's dead, three goes to him. And I then exhaust wreck wrap. So he's ready again. It's just this is just insane. And I now will kill this guy. <laughs> so why not? And I'm ready, so I get another one of these. And now I can change this. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ready. Um, I get five cards. Wait, did I discard a card before? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, yeah, I discarded Adrenaline Rush. That's right. Okay, and then I exhaust and discard a card at random. I like to put the basics in the front and then the aspects and then the identity right okay now it's got a card at random and it is all point in time goes back on the top of my deck one two he attacks I will defend if it deals damage you exhaust your hero Oh, it does do damage. Wait, I actually want that. Oh, this is where I feel about any sort of possible game breaking. If this activation deals damage to a hero, exhaust your hero. Okay. Well, it just did four points of damage, which deals one point of damage to me because I defend it for three. And then I exhaust. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Uh, encounter card. Uh, villain schemes. Oh, have I got anything that stops that from happening? No. Damn. Two plus two is four. One, two, three, four. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, my turn. Well, Peter's immediately thwarting for two. Blink. Um, power of leadership and adrenaline rush power of leadership can count as the mental or pay for push ahead oh wait I need to exhaust me no so I will attack wait Actually, yeah, I'll thwart for one. No. I'll tack for one. I tack for one, which puts a web thing on there because I readied. And then push ahead will exhaust your hero. Remove threat from a scheme equals the total of the heroes, blah, blah, blah. So there's all four gone. Okay. First aid will pay for first aid. On who? Peter. I think I might heal Peter. Because I'm going to attack for one. Oh wait, when I readied before. I readied for the thwart from before. I mean the attack from before. 
that I did one. So now I'm going to change because that's what gave him the web thing. Then I'm going to attack for three. Get another web wang and then flip to Parker Man who immediately exhausts for four. Okay, now I'm ready. I get four cards. And I don't have to do any of this business. That's amazing. Um, end of turn. I can't change to defense though, because I've already done it for that thing. So boink, and then boink, and then oh, I attacked, so I should have had retaliate. Cool. So I'm down one. So he. Oh no, he schemes. What am I talking about? Schemes for two plus nothing. One, two. Then we get an encounter card. And it is. Sound manipulation. Ultra go claw. Heals four. If no damage was healed, gain surge. One, two, three, four. My turn. I'm going to draw three cards and discard a card. So draw three. And then move that to there. Move that to there, that to there, that to there. And then press the button. Okay, that goes to the top of my deck. Then flip. And I'm going to... I'm going to attack for three. One, two, three. Take retaliate. Then Web Thang is going to play for wall crawling time, which is going to deal five points of damage. And then exhaust me and then I'm going to hit him again and win the game and then I don't retaliate because he's dead um, I don't know what I can say that I haven't already said this character is amazing um, I'm fairly certain I played him right once I could I could get my brain around the readies instead of exhausting and how it doesn't really affect this um, so the terminology doesn't change you ready and exhaust as you always would whenever the card tells you to and that's important for it the cut for the character to work properly it just takes a bit from a bro to sift my brain now, the only thing I think I might have played wrong is this after you ready rec rap give rec rap plus two thought plus two attack plus two offense to the end of the round so i think my interpretation is in, is correct in that i used it to defend and because i to defend i had to ready after you ready it means i can change it as a response which is the last thing in the step of actions right it's card specific then interrupts then then responses that I think I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's right. The only problem that I've got is that I think I might have done the, out, the end of round part wrong. So that's the only thing I'm worried about. Being able to change from defense and attack and back and forth again. I'm sure that's right. It's the, uh, the end of round timing thing, maybe I didn't get that right. Um, the whole... Um, it's it's important that you do the sequence in on in properly, right? If the end of for the end of um, 
when the phase ends. When the phase ends. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't do that right. It's when the phase ends, not when the round ends. So he should actually be doing it on the villain phase as well. I was doing it at the end of every hero phase. He was exhausting and discarding a card. But he should actually be doing it on the villain phase. Oh. Is that is that game breaking mistake? Is that a game breaking mistake? I'm gonna have to go through and watch the video again. Oh, that's really upsetting. When the phase ends, exhaust your opponent, discard a random card. I wasn't discarding a random card at the end of the villain phase. Damn it. I'm not redoing the video. I'm just gonna have to just take it, take it on the chin if I got that wrong. It doesn't invalidate, um, I mean, it may invalidate the game, but it doesn't invalidate uh, my feelings on the character. Uh, I stand by everything I said before. I think the I think the the theme is amazing. I mean, all the cards are all based around what he does in the comic, what he's like in the comic and stuff. Um, symbiote thing he's web waning the spider stranger um, his disguise looking for clues it's just thematically it's just amazing waning time <laughs> it just sounds so it's so wrong I love it. Peter. I think that's everything. Oh, there's three Walker on types. There's three of them. Unusual. Anyway, I think that's everything. Um. Yeah. I'm usually not a fan of pre-cons. There's, there's still a couple of um, cards in there that I probably wouldn't have used. Not the whole the upgrade that you take a damage and then generate a wild resource. I don't think why you need it once you've got. I mean, once you've got um, web wane out, you just you don't really need it. Um, so I would I would replace that and uh, the other ones. The other ones were okay. But this one, um, yeah. All right. Uh, so specific feedback. Uh, thematically, uh, on point. Mechanically, I think the mechanic is is just amazing. It's it's such a simple change, but it really alters the way you think in terms of gameplay. Like you've really got to think about what you're doing, especially the way it interacts with the cards that then make him exhaust. And so they're essentially saying, ready him. Exhaust Wreck Wrap actually means ready him so that he's available to do something again. It's just unbelievably cool. Um, yeah, I can't think of it. There's not a single card in here that's a dead card. I didn't really quite understand Spider Brain Tingle. Um, but I do see how it interacts with Daily Bugle. Uh, and how Daily Bugle interacts with his thing. Where you get it back to the top of your deck. Um, the fact that he doesn't have this on here means that you use this how you would normally which means you can then do stuff and then it affects the way when you flip it's I, I, I can't praise this enough it's just it's blown me away at just how creative it is my only nitpicks and these are just the nitpickiest of nitpicking like I can't stress that enough like it's incredibly minor is I would move this art across slightly and I'll say it again that this the fact that 
he looks ready when he's exhausted. Honestly, I don't know if that was intentional, but it is, it's genius. I don't say that lightly. It's just, it's genius, if it was intentional. Um, but I would just, just slightly move it and get rid of this dead space here that means nothing. And sort of clear up the space on these things a little bit. Just slightly down. Um, the other artwork thing here is this one. It's waning time. The fact that he's holding, like grabbing the card thing, that's, again, it's just genius. It's so creative. Um, nitpicky, nitpicky, nitpicky. So it was, yeah, what was the other nitpicky? Oh yeah, moving this artwork slightly. Spidey really should cost four. Two, two, three. Plus he gives you stuff. Should be four. Um, everything else though, I just, I can't think of anything else. That's how, that's how good it is. Oh, if just I mean, if we're being super, super nit kept nitpicky, I would maybe have this black line would have been like the dull grey white line. But I, I, now I'm just now I'm just being ridiculous. This is this is a ten out of ten hero. It's it's amazing. It absolutely should be sealed for quality. It's. There may be something that I've missed, something that like a better player will be able to grab. Um, but in terms of uh, in terms of design and mechanics, it's it's, it's ten out of ten, hundred percent. Seal it right now. Uh, ah, actually no, it's nine point nine five because <laughs> I really want you to move this art. I guess I can't let it go. Uh, but. Other than that, just it's yeah, it's immediate seal nine point nine five. That's amazing, and I think you only need like an eight uh, to to get a seal anyway. It's just yeah, do it, do it. Uh, thank you very much, Man Three, for um, rec wrap, uh, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, I apologise if it does turn out that I did. I'll rewatch. I'll watch the video back. Um, I possibly did this wrong, but I don't think so. But this one, I'm absolutely convinced that possibly like, that I did it wrong. <laughs> At the end of the, when the phase ends, I, I'm pretty sure I was not discarding. It should it means you should be just exhausting and discarding the card at the end of the villain phase as well, which I was not doing. If that, sorry, I I do apologize if that's broken the game for you. Um, I agree with you. My perfectionism. We will not let that go. I, I, the dude abides. I have failed to achieve. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. But it doesn't invalidate anything about the character itself. That's my fault. That's my stupid game, game plan fault, not the character's fault. The character is 9.95 out of, out of, out of 10. 9.99 <laughs> out of 10. Just, just that one thing. Um, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope you enjoyed. Uh... <laughs> hug your family all that stuff enjoy your chocolates uh, look after yourself and uh, I'll see you on the next video thanks <laughs>